listeners, today we will uh, cover the third topic from the Kaivalyan, which is the third principle, and this is the principle of vibration or sound. So, this principle basically says that everything from the totality of mind, consciousness, my pure being, uh, down to the heart of every living beings and, uh, and even the, any form of matter everything is in motion and everything vibrates and uh, so the higher the vibration the higher the position in the scale uh, or the closer it is to the primal cause of pure being so here we introduce a paradox in fact we say uh, that um, at the center of mind there is a place of rest on the surface uh, like uh, on the surface of the ocean there are waves and uh, in, the, in the very deep down it's almost like rest even though there is some kind of movements but um, uh, the, the lower polarity uh, says that opposites are identical in nature but different in degrees and all the extremes meet all truths are half truths and all paradoxes are reconciled this means that the expanse of being the very essence of mind which we saw uh, already in the, the first principle of mind everything is mind uh, it vibrates at such an infinite rate of intensity that it's basically practically at rest it, it, it it's like a, when we see a rapidly moving wheel as it, this wheel seems to be motionless it seems to be seems, seems to be still but actually is because it is uh, moving so rapidly that we we all, we just can't perceive the movement anymore so um on the other hand at uh, the other end of the scale there are gross forms of matter which whose vibrations are so low and and that also seems to be resting that seems to be you know in a place of rest and motionless um, on the physical scale the, the, the whole universe uh, the cosmos and uh, even when basically it reaches to its end and uh, it reaches uh, it disintegrates into nothingness at the end of each time cycles um, basically um, it, it goes into a state of motionless but the principle of vibration says that even in this condition of absolute nothingness and rest, there is um, there is a high degree of vibration which which will set in motion the next the, the beginning of the next universe. Now this is just on a phenomenal level uh, of, of phenomena, and um, so this is what this, uh, the Kabbalion basically introduces. Uh, in the third chapter it says that the two poles of vibration uh, are resolved into one because the extremes have merged and absolute motion and absolute rest are seen to be are seen to be identical now and uh, the different uh, various manifestations of the play of reality which is the phenomena that we experience uh, in all dimensional planes of existence are entirely due to varying degrees or modes of vibration so everything is distinguished from anything else because of its vibrations uh, so vibrations defines how the phenomena uh, manifests and how it is perceived so higher lower vibrations there is always a state of vibration and this vibration is can also be called sound but uh, maybe not the same as we may think uh, it's a it's a sort of it's a kind of uh, internal or secret sound and um, and we will speak more about that in the next podcast and how the principle of vibration or sound is found in different um, other different traditions uh, like in the Buddhist tradition, in the Tantra tradition, in the Christian tradition. Uh, but in any case, for more information, you can always refer to my book, The Seven Laws of Reality and Being. So that's all for now. Thank you very much for listening.